So here we're going to be doing this question, and then we've got another question on the next page, and then there's a third question. Okay, so this one's all of our tax. To be honest, I love these questions. Okay, so Miss Nande is a 53 year old, and okay, so that's important. We'll definitely need to remember that this person is 53 years old. The reason is, is that when we look at our tax rebates, you know, age is very important, and earns a gross income of uh, that amount per month during the tax year. A non-taxable deduction, a non-taxable monthly deduction of 7.5% was made from her salary and paid into her pension fund. Table four below shows the tax table for that year. Um, table five shows the rebates. Okay, so explain the term gross income in this context. So remember, gross income is how much somebody earns before any deductions, okay? So for example, if you go, if you have a normal job one day, right? You're working for someone, you're getting paid a salary. Let's say you get paid 20,000 Rand, okay? That is what they pay you. Um, but now here's you, okay? Here's you, okay? Now before that 20,000 reaches you, sometimes, certain money gets taken away. For example, maybe 1,000 Rand uh, goes for a pension and yeah. So then how much money do you actually get? That's 19,000 Rand. So this one is called your gross income up here. And then this one is usually called like your net income after. So your net income is after all of your deductions have been taken away, such as your pension fund, for example. Okay, so gross income is all of your income before deductions. So because they say in this context, we will refer to Miss Nande. So we'll say that it is Miss Nande uh, income before deductions. Okay, so it's her income before deductions. So now we're gonna move on to this question over here, which is for five marks. Show by calculation that a person who was 75 years and older and earned 151,100 during the 2022 tax year pays no tax. Okay, so, okay, so these numbers here, sometimes these numbers are given as a monthly, um, I've seen some questions where these are monthly, but these are gonna be yearly, yearly income, okay? So this person earned um, 151,100 rand. So you gotta try to figure out where, which tax bracket is that? Well, if you're earning 151,100 for the whole year, then that'll put you into the very first tax bracket um, where you're earning anywhere between one rand and 216,200. Okay, so this person is gonna be in this tax bracket over here. So let's just highlight that. So how much tax would they pay? Well, you're gonna be paying 18% of your taxable income. So we're gonna say 18% of however much this person earned, which was 151, 100, 151, 100. And if you calculate that, That'll be uh, 27,198 rand. So that is how much tax this person um, is supposed to pay. Now, remember that the way that the tax, now we're gonna look at the tax rebates. So tax rebates, are they go like this. If someone is 75 and older, you don't wanna just say, oh, okay, so they only get that much. No, it starts at the primary, did they qualify for that one? Yes. Are they 65 and older? Yes. Are they also 75 and older? Yes. And so you take all of those. So the rebates will be 15,714 plus 8613 plus 2871. If you go add all of that together, Oh, look at that, you get exactly 27,198. So that person, the 75 year old person that they're talking about, was supposed to pay that much in tax, but then the rebate was that. Remember the rebate is, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's money that you don't have to pay. So if you then subtract the two, okay, you can just take out your calculator. Okay, that was a joke guys, it's the same value. So of course it's gonna give you zero. Um, so that's gonna be zero rand that that person pays in tax.
All right, now these are my favorite questions. For eight marks, calculate Miss Nandi's annual tax um, annual tax payable. Okay, so they want to know what is her annual tax that she's going to pay. So the first thing we know is that her monthly income is 39486 That is a gross income. They also tell us it's gross income. So that is before all of the deductions. Now remember, this, this tax table uses taxable income. Okay, so that is the income that is allowed to be taxed. So they told us here that a non-taxable deduction, so this, this deduction is not allowed to be taxed. So we need to, before we can, uh, we can't just use this number to, to try use the table because we first need to take away the 7.5% um, non-taxable deduction. So this the 7.5% is not allowed to be taxed. So we need to first go work out what is 7.5% of uh, 39486. And if we work that out, it is uh, 2961.45. So that amount is not allowed to be taxed. So let's quickly subtract now so we can see how much is allowed to be taxed. And if you subtract those two values, you end up with 36,524 rand and 55 cents. That is a monthly, that is a monthly figure. Just remember that because this year is a um, monthly figure and this is allowed to be taxed. But now these tax tables, these values here are based on a per year. So we need to convert that now into a per year. So we just multiply that by 12 because there's 12 months in a year. And that'll give 438294.60. Okay, so that is that is this person's taxable income per year. That is the amount that is allowed to be taxed. So now you've got to take this value and you've got to try to see which tax bracket would that put the person into. And if you do that correctly, you should land up in tax bracket number three, which is somewhere inside here. Okay, so when you are inside that tax bracket, you are definitely going to pay 70,532 Rand. That is how much tax you would pay in the beginning, 70,532, uh, just because you are in that tax bracket. Now, you need to see there's also this part. It says that you will also pay 31% of all the income that is above this amount over here. So we need to see how much, how much, um, you know, like how much more money do we have than 37,800. So we can say 438294.60 minus 33,000, sorry, 337,800. And um, if you had to go work that out, Okay, that's just over 100,000, so that's 104.94.60. So that is how much money uh, this person has above 337,800. So that's going to be taxed at 31%. So we're going to tax that at 31%, 31% of 104.94.60. And of course, with percentage, you can say 31 over 100 of means times, and if you had to work this out, that's gonna be 31153.33, if you round that to two decimal places. So the total tax that this person is going to pay would be the 70,532 plus the 31%, which is that amount over there, and so we are gonna go add those two values together, 70,532 plus 31,153.33, and if we work that out, we end up with 101,000, this is not the final answer, 685.33. Then we need to take the, the rebate into account. Now, Miss Nandi is only 53, so she's definitely not gonna be a secondary or tertiary, she's not gonna get a secondary or tertiary rebate, but she'll definitely qualify for a primary rebate. So we can then say 101685.33, uh, and we can take away 15,714, 
And so the final answer would be 85,971.33. So that is how much tax Miss Nandi would pay for that tax year.